Hello, hello, and welcome. This is Beverly Fells Jones, the Silver Fox of Consciousness. I am an author, speaker, and seminar leader. On this show, I talk about how to expand your world of thought, explore the world of positive thinking, law of attraction, and consciousness from many points of view. I intend to share with you information that will enlighten and empower you in your life. I am here to encourage you to think in the positive and to show that miracles can happen because I truly believe you have been given the power of the word and thought to create the life you desire. Well, welcome again. To those of you who are new to this channel, welcome. And if you like what you hear, please like, hit that like button, and subscribe, and hit that bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload and release a new video. And those of you who are subscribers and have that bell pressed, thank you for being here today. Well, I'm starting a new section for Florence Scovel Shin, and that is a compiled listing of her teachings by Christine Schneider, and it's called The Power of the Spoken Word, and these are called Teachings of Florence Scovel Shin. And an, a, a thought leader that I will be recording some of his things in the new future in the near future is Emmett Fox. Now Emmett Fox was one of the most influential spiritual leaders of the 20th century and a pioneer of the New Thought movement. All right, so he's affected a lot of people. He lived from 1886 to 1951. And I'm going to be sharing with you soon some information from his Sermon on the Mount book, his Around the World ideas, um, what's, he's got another one, Find and Use Your Inner Power. He's written quite a few things, so that's coming up in the future. But his foreword said, Florence Scovel Shin taught metaphysics in New York for many years. Her meetings were well attended and in that way she was the means of bringing the message to a considerable number of people. Her books have had a wide circulation not only in America but abroad. They seem to have a knack of finding their way to remote and unexpected places in Europe and other parts of the world. Now and again, we meet someone who came into truth through finding a Florence Shin book in the most improbable location. One secret of her success was that she was always herself, colloquial, informal, friendly, and humorous. She never sought to be literary, conventional, or impressive. For this reason, she appealed to thousands who would not have taken the spiritual message through the more conservative and dignified forms, or have been willing to read, at least in the beginning, the standard metaphysical books. <laughs> she herself was very spiritual, although this was usually hidden behind a manner of fact and carefree treatment of her subject. The technical or academic approach was not for her. She taught by familiar, practical, and everyday examples. She had been by profession an artist and book illustrator before becoming a truth teacher and belonged to an old Philadelphia family. She left a collection of notes and memoranda which had been made into this present book. May it have wide circulation. And this is from Emmett Fox. Now, I've recorded other ones um, from this particular book. And you should be able to find it in the playlist. Because the first one in her book is 
the one called Weapon She Know Not Of. And that is already recorded. And I'm not going to go through that one to start again. I may come back to it later. But right now, I'm going to go to the one where she talks about, I give unto you power. And she says she takes this information from Luke, the 10th chapter, the 19th verse. She says, God's gift to man is power, power and dominion over all created things, his mind, his body, and affairs. All unhappiness comes from the lack of power. Man imagines himself weak and the victim of circumstances, claiming that conditions over which he had no control caused his defeat. Man by himself is indeed a victim of circumstances, but linked with God power, all things are possible. And let me go back, because as I was reading that piece, all unhappiness comes from lack of power. How many times have you been or in your life that you felt you lacked power? You felt you lacked power as a child with your parents or your family or however you were raised with whomever you were raised with. You felt you had lacked power. When you were in school and in the classroom, you lacked power. You felt you lacked power. You could not say or express yourself. Now, I'm not saying be dis disrespectful. I'm asking. Sometimes you may have felt you couldn't ask a question or whatever. You go out. You have a job. You have your boss. Your boss is the power. The power to hire you, fire you, pay you, not pay you. You feel it's a lack of power. And that you have no control over your life. However, as we continue to read on, I want you to think about the times where there was a crossroads and you could have made a different decision. And what your life might have been like had you gone left instead of right, or right instead of left, or up instead of down, whatever way you think of it. So let's go on. Through a knowledge of metaphysics, we are discovering how this can be done, as a reminder, linked with God power, all things are possible. By your word, you contact this power. And miraculously, every burden is lifted and every battle is won. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. Watch your words with diligence. You are continually reaping the fruits of your words. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works to the end, to him will I give power and dominion over the nations, overcoming means to conquer all doubts, fears, and negative vibrations. One man with perfect peace and perfect poise filled with love and goodwill could dissolve all negative vibrations. They could melt away like snow under the sun. Jesus said, all power is given unto me to bring heaven upon earth. Let us give thanks that this is now coming to pass, for evil is unreal and leaves no stain. This God power is within you your superconscious mind. It is the realm of inspiration, revelation, and illumination. It is the realm of miracles and wonders. Quick and seemingly impossible changes take place for your good. 
A door opens where there were no doors. Supply appears from hidden and unexpected channels. For God has weapons ye know not of. To work with God power, you must give it right of way and still the reasoning mind. The instant you ask, infinite intelligence knows the way of fulfillment. Man's part is to rejoice and give thanks and act his faith. A very well-known woman in England told of this experience. I love how Florence comes back and gives us examples of people who have actually made use of this power. She was asking with great feeling for a realization of God. These words came to her, Act as though I were and I am. It is exactly what I say over and over again. Only active faith impresses the subconscious and unless you impress the subconscious, there are no results. So let me repeat those words that came to her. Act as though I were and I am. So acting as though you already are where you want to be. And this doesn't mean you go out and spend a ton of money and you start, I was watching <laughs> this one video and the guy was talking about people who go out and buy a Ver Louis Vuitton, Versace, you know, um, Gabbert, you know, what are some of those names? Cause I don't even know them all, but they go out and spend the money on these things. But they don't really have money to pay their rent. They're living in a shack. They're living somewhere else. I remember years ago, there was an area of, of Pittsburgh that was not very nice, right? It could, it's not quite a slum, but it was not very nice. And I was driving down, and Pittsburgh has lots of hills. And I looked up, and there was this house that was obviously out of repair. Needed painting, looked like the roof needed to be done, just a number of things. And in front of it was a bright, shiny, new Cadillac. Now, I know Cadillacs aren't that great these days, but 30 years ago, they was a, it was a big deal. It was, let's say it was some equivalent to a Mercedes now or um, is Audi another one? I don't know. Okay. Big shot car. They were living paying the, the car note on this big Cadillac and living in squalor. You don't want to be doing that. Just to show off. Right? What you want to do when you think about this, is the idea that you want, let's just say you want a better job and you don't want to change companies. You want, you saw a job within your company that you wanted. Start dressing for that position. Stop dressing down. Dress up, overdressed. Some people would call it, but not super overdressed, just a step up. Watch what the people are doing in that position, you know, that you want and start doing that. Start studying and learning what that position requires. Start speaking in the manner as though you are already in that position. Don't, I, what I don't, I don't mean, you know, authority or telling people off or acting, you know, as though you were Miss or Mr. It, but you begin to speak the language and start demonstrating 
the fact that you are the person for that job before you're there. You never know who's watching you. So, this is showing faith and showing your subconscious and the universe that that is the job that you want. She goes on. I will now give you an example to show you just how the law works. A woman came to me whose heart's desire was her right marriage and happy home. She was very fond of a certain man, but he was a most difficult person. After having shown her every attention and devotion, he suddenly changed and dropped out of her life. She was unhappy, resentful, and discouraged. Boy, I, I can understand how she felt. Florence said, I said, now this is the time to prepare for your happy home. Buy little things for it as if you hadn't a minute to spare. You know, years ago, women used to have hope chests. My issue was I used to call it a maybe chest because my self-esteem was not very high when I was a teenager in early 20s. I wound up calling it a maybe chest. And that I'll leave that whole conversation to another time. Anyway, she says she became quite interested in shopping for her happy home when all appearances were against it. Now I said, you'll have to perfect yourself on the situation and become immune to all resentment and unhappy unhappiness. I gave her the statement, I am now immune to all hurt and resentment. My poise is built upon a rock the Christ within. I said, when you are immune to all hurt and resentment, this man will be given you or, and I love this, his equivalent. It took many months when it took many months when one evening she came to see me and said, I have only the kindness and most friendly feelings for this man. If he isn't the divine selection, I would be happy without him. So her attitude had changed. She got rid of her hurt and her resentment and how terrible he was and you all know. You, you all know how you act when somebody rejects you or, or your relationship has split up. You know how you have been. And she changed. I would be happy without him. Not long after, she happened to meet the man. He was so sorry for the way he had acted. He begged her to forgive him. Not long after they were married and a happy home came into manifestation, it had built itself around her active faith. Now in some instances, it wouldn't have been the guy she eyed, but another man showed up in her life and could have shown up in her life because this initial one was not the right one but in this case he was your only enemies are within yourself Florence says the woman's enemies were hurt and resentment they are indeed serpents and scorpions many lives have been wrecked by these two enemies linked with God power all opposition vanished from this woman's life. Nothing could by any means hurt her. Think what that means. To have a life free from all unhappy experiences. It is done through making a conscious contact with God power every instant. 
This is where I'm going to end with this particular one. I give unto you power. So I want you to think about that. And I want you to think about her statement. I am now immune to all hurt and resentment. My poise is built upon a rock, the Christ within. That's one. And the other one, which is, I talked kind of length on. Act as though I were and I am. Because I am is very powerful. I am happy. I am health. I am wonderfully made and I am worth everything that is given to me and is on its way to me now. This is Beverly Fells Jones, the Silver Fox of Consciousness. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share so others can know they have the power to create the life that they desire. So as you have believed, let it be done to you. And it is so. And I will see you in part two in the next video.